Now, when you think about employee motivation, I personally think a lot of people miss the boat. You got a lot of people out there teaching a lot of rah-rah and hoo-ha and how to get people all fired up. And that's all great. But I'm going to share with you what I believe to be the missing link behind employee motivation. And that's simply this. People are motivated by different things. If you try to motivate your entire workforce the same way, it's not going to work. Because not everyone gets excited about the same type of stuff. So, what are these six main motivators that people tend to cluster around? Oh, you never ask. Here we go. Here's an overview. Tip of the iceberg of the six hidden motivators. It's a model that we use in our day-to-day -day consulting practice to help companies hire and retain top performers. One of those motivators is the theoretical motivator. People who are motivated by this theoretical drive love to learn. They're lifelong learners. They enjoy constantly assimilating and acquiring new information. It really gets their juices flowing. Another type of motivation is the utilitarian or economic-based motivator. You guessed it, these people like money, economic return. They view the world through the filter of ROI, what's in it for me, and what am I going to get out of a situation if I invest my time, effort, and energy, or money into it. Another key motivator is the aesthetic motivator. People who are high on this motivator tend to place an emphasis on beauty, art, harmony, their physical surroundings. These are the types of folks whose physical environment has a direct impact on whether or not they're productive. Another main motivator is the social motivator. Now we're not talking about people who are socially extroverted or like to get up in front of a crowd. In this case, people who are highly social enjoy putting other people's needs ahead of their own. Think of teachers, mentors, coaches, nurses, counselors, therapists, etc. And you get the idea. The individualistic motivator describes someone who's motivated by power and authority. These are the type of people who enjoy being in control, leading a team, leading a company, stepping out in front, and being in control of their own destiny. Last but not least, there's another motivator referred to as the traditional motivator. And this measures how much a person's belief system, whether it be political and or religious belief system, whatever they may be, how much that belief system is an important part of a person's life. So when you pull all these together, every one of us has a, a motivator or two that are very intense, then some might be kind of midstream or mid-range, and others might be less important to us. They're all different combinations, all different permutations. In order for you to motivate your workforce, you've got to figure out what it is that a person is driven by. And from a selection standpoint, you've got to make sure that people's motivators are in alignment with the position.